Hi y'all, Danny here from Small House One Family, and we're going to make some chocolate fudge. So come on in the kitchen and join me. To make this chocolate fudge, you are going to need 3 cups of sugar, 2 thirds cup of margarine, 2 thirds cup of evaporated milk, one package or 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolates, seven ounces of marshmallow cream, and this is exactly seven ounces of marshmallow cream. And then you will also need to give one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I got vanilla extract right here, and I have my teaspoon. Now after you're done gathering your ingredients, you're going to want to go ahead and spray down your pan. It's a 9 by 13 pan is what you're going to want. And you want to do a light spray down on it. That way the fudge doesn't stick to the pan. Once we got that done, we're going to go ahead and start adding in our ingredients into the saucepan. Now in a 3 quart pan, you're going to want to go ahead and turn the heat on to medium. So we're going to do that right now. Once we get the heat on medium, we're going to go ahead and set you down. And we're going to add our ingredients in. First ingredient is going to be the sugar. So we're going to go ahead and put the sugar in. Oops, don't let any drop out as much as you can. I'm a mess maker, so I always have some falling out. Then we also want to add in our evaporated milk. And our margarine. And we're going to stir this in constantly. And I usually like to stir with a wooden spoon. So let's get this mixed together. The key is not to let anything get burnt. So. I'm going to stir this up. And remember, this is on medium heat. We got that y'all stirring up right now. I'm going to continue to stir it up. And then we're going to go ahead and use our candy thermometer once it starts to boil for about five minutes until the candy uh, thermometer says 234 degrees. So I'm going to stick the candy thermometer right in there. And we're just going to wait until it gets to 230 degrees. Once it gets to 230, we're going to start adding in all the other ingredients. You don't have to keep the thermometer inside, but as you can see, we are at 100, about 100 degrees right now. Stir this around. We'll be right back once we get to the closer to that 230 mark. All right. All right. Now we are going ahead and we are just about there to 230, 234 on our reading. And once we get there, we're going to take it off of the heat and then we're going to put in the chocolate chips and stir those in and let those melt and then put in the rest of the ingredients. We're almost there. Now 
And you're constantly stirring as you're going along as well. We are at 200. And 10, 210 right now. So just a couple more notches. Now you'll make sure you can always pull the candy thermometer out. Stir it around for a little bit and then we'll go ahead and we'll um, get the candy thermometer to uh, do a reading again. But this is just to make sure that it is exactly at 234. That way we don't have any issues. This is fun. And it's getting up there pretty fast, so... I'm going to call it 234, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in the chocolates and take that off of the heat. So, turn that heat off. And stir in these chocolates. And we want to stir them in and have them all melted. Once we get that melted and everything, we are going to go ahead and add in the remaining of the ingredients, which is the marshmallow mix. And we're going to go ahead and put in the vanilla extract. But we definitely want to make sure heats off and we're stirring this vigorously until all the chocolate is melted. Alright, now once we go ahead and we have that all melted, it's going to look like that. I hope you all can see what it is. Um, here, let me move the camera, actually. It'll look just like that. Now we want to hurry up, though, and put in our marshmallow. Since we're using all the marshmallow, I'm just going to go ahead and use a spoon right here. And we're just going to flop all that in there. Every stinking bit of this marshmallow. And then we also need to go ahead and put in our vanilla extract. I always add just a tad bit extra, don't tell anybody. And then we're just going to go ahead and mix this around until it's fully mixed. All right. Now that your ingredients are all mixed in, you're going to take your pan that we sprayed down and we're going to go ahead and pour in the mixture. Make sure it's nice and even and looks so tasty right now. I could eat it right now. I always try to make sure I get every little bit out that I can get out. And once we do that, we're going to go ahead and smooth this out. And leave it to sit until it hardens up. And then we can go ahead and cut this bad boy and give it a taste test. Alright, now that we let it sit, the fudge is ready to go ahead and be cut. I use this handy dandy knife to cut it with. Makes it just a little bit easier. And you can cut the squares as big as you want them. Or as small as you want them. 
And this makes about two pounds. All right, once you have it cut and everything, I just go ahead and I let it sit a little bit more. And then we're going to put it in this tin or this little tray. And then we will go ahead and put that in the refrigerator. we have it ready to go. And uh, we'll have our taste testers try it out. And let you guys know in the comments how it went.